The DSM, or Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, is an essential resource for students researching mental illness. In the United States, the DSM is the most widely accepted and used diagnostic tool for mental health scholars and professionals. It is utilized in a variety of fields including psychology, social work, medicine, and any others that deal with mental disorders and illness. The DSM is published by the American Psychiatric Association, not to be confused with the American Psychological Association that regulates APA citation style. First published in 1952, the DSM has been periodically updated with new editions. In 1994, the APA published the DSM-4, which was then revised in 2000 into the DSM-4-TR. In May 2013, the fifth edition was published in the DSM-5. The DSM-5 is now the most recent publication and should be used when doing research unless you are instructed to use an older edition by your professor. The DSM provides information about each mental disorder, including features and criteria used to diagnose that disorder. It will also offer a differential diagnosis, which provides mental and physical disorders that also present similar symptoms. Additional information, like the prevalence of a disorder, will also be found in the entries, but the type of information available will vary with each one. When using the DSM to research a mental disorder, it is important to know that they are not organized in alphabetical order like an encyclopedia. Instead, they are grouped together according to the type of disorder. Here we see the online DSM's table of contents with a listing of the different types of disorders. This will look almost the same as the print version but will not include page numbers. If we were researching one of the new disorders added to the DSM-5, caffeine intoxication, we would look for and go to the chapter on substance-related and addictive disorders. At the beginning of this chapter, we are provided with an overview of this type as well as a listing of each substance and addiction disorder. They are listed in the order they will appear in the chapter, so we will find caffeine intoxication after those conditions related to alcohol. If we are unfamiliar with the type of our disorder, we can always use the index at the back of the manual to look it up by name, or use the search box in the online version. We will find at least one copy of the print DSM at each campus library in the reference section with this call number. The library also provides 24-7 online access to the DSM-5. From the library homepage, we'll go to the subject databases, find the section on psychology, and click on DSM-5 online. We can now search the book the same way we would in print, or use the search box to find a specific disorder. The content will be exactly the same as in the print edition. The APA also publishes complementary books to the DSM, including case books. For the DSM-5, these are called clinical cases. Clinical cases provide case studies for the different disorders explaining how a particular patient was diagnosed and treated. These can be excellent resources when doing research and can be found next to the print edition of the DSM-5. There is no online access to these. Please remember if you are required to use the DSM-5 for research, the clinical cases cannot be used as a replacement to the entry in the manual. They are not the same. After we've used the DSM for our research, we will need to cite it. Here is the APA citation for the print version. Remember to ask a reference librarian if you are having difficulties finding or using the DSM or the clinical cases.